bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds of K-1 Rules Kickboxing in the Mixed Fight Championship 79-kilogram division. You can see the tail of the tape there, and boy, one number that sticks way out like a sore thumb is obviously the age differential between these two. There's a 17-year age differential, and Hassan is only 18, so figure that one out. A massive uh, age advantage, if you want to call it that, for Sira. But Hassan has youth on his side, and he's more experienced than his 35-year-old opponent, if you can believe that. As I said, Sira in the red gloves, 35 years old, and making his debut in his hometown. What is motivating this guy to get into a fight, a professional fight, at age 35? Well, he's going right after Hassan here. Nailed him with a good low kick, and uh, Hassan standing there and taking it. He'd better get busy here. He's he might gonna get an eight count if he doesn't give anything back. So far, Sira things going his way here in round number one. Low kick goes in again. He's getting backed up to the corner, but he is throwing punches in bunches and is not slowing down his offensive output yet. A lot of shots have gone into the head of Alan Hassan in the blue gloves. His face is as red as a beat right now. Good knee goes in as well from Sira. Certainly doesn't look like he's never had a fight before. There's not a whole lot of mustard behind those shots, but he is just persistent. He is persistently beating the face of Alan Hassan. Uppercut snuck in that time. I'll tell you what, for a 35-year-old that's never had a pro fight before, and I haven't heard anything about amateur experience from this guy yet. So far, he's looking pretty good there. Like I said, he's not throwing, he's not ripping off uh, knockout shots there. But he's certainly, well, wait a minute. I don't think he expected that. I don't think that Hassan has thrown more than four or five shots the whole round, but one of them somehow managed to stray low. Well, we'll see how that affects Sira in this matchup. No doubt he's got a lot of uh, supporters in the arena here tonight. He does represent the Phoenix Sport Academy here in the city of Kassel, Germany. Of course, the, uh, the owner, the trainer of that Jim Marinko Niemarevich will be in action later in the evening towards the end of the card in a heavyweight kickboxing bout. And it looks like Kero Sura is ready for more action. Let's see if Alan Hassan changes his game plan here in round number one. See if he gets a little bit busier. Looks like he wants to pick up the output. But again, Kero Sura just relentless with his strikes. Left, right, left, right, left, right. One, two, one, two, one, two. And I can see that he's already drawn some blood from Alan Hassan's nose as well. It's another right hand down the middle. And that's the second time I've seen that low kick completely turn Alan Hassan around. Tries to rip a knee. Didn't quite get through to the face. It hit him on the forearms, I believe, and ricocheted offward. Nice. Combinations going in now from Hassan, who also has quite a bit of crowd support here tonight. Hassan now, starting to get busy towards the end of the round, but it may be too little, too late. Not much time left here in round one. And so far, the output of Sira probably quadrupled that of Hassan. Hassan now back into a red corner now. Is, tries to circle out. Sira keeping right on him, keeping busy. Inside low kick lands. And there's the bell end of round one. A very busy round one.
Rechtes Knie, rechtes Knie, richtig spitz zum Bauch, okay? Mach Doppeldeckung und drück ihn mal, dass er rückwärts geht. Drück ihn mal, er muss rückwärts gehen. Geh mal, Kein Kunst. Du packst das, ja? Er hat dumm angefangen, dumm angefangen, aber langsam kommst du zu dir. Let's go back and take another look, folks, at the action here from round number one. I'll tell you what. Sira, his output was just incredible. The amount of punches that he threw in that round was nothing short of extraordinary. Let's see what kind of shape he's in. Like I said, he wasn't putting a whole lot of effort behind those punches, but they were just relentless. Look, if somebody hits you 50 times at half speed, or hits you 10 times at full speed, you know, what's worse? The effect's got to be the same. Unless they hit you right on the chin. Hassan now, getting busy, starting to get his range down a little bit. Hard to believe the age differential between these two. As I said, Alan Hassan in the blue gloves, just 18 years old, and Sira in the red gloves, 17 years older than him at 35. You don't believe me, just get your calculator out. Well, that'd be embarrassing if I was actually wrong, wouldn't it? Somebody actually checked me. Here we go, nice push kick there, brought it right up between the pectorals into the sternum region. Now I think that Hassan's starting to feel a little bit more comfortable in here. Sira still coming forward here, still trying to keep to that game plan. Knee lands on the inside now. Body kick. Nice counter there by Sira. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm only a few years older than, than Sira, and nothing is really biting me to get into the ring to start fighting professionally here. I, I wonder what it is. That's really, is it just the fact that Mixed Fight Gala is in town and it happens to be in his hometown where he lives, where he trains? And maybe it's just one of these guys who just got into kickboxing just for the fitness, just for the fun of it, just for the challenge of it. And then somehow decided, yeah, maybe I do want to fight. Certainly it's got to be a bizarre situation for him as well to be able to be in there with somebody who could literally be his son. That's the way it goes sometimes. A lot of times when they're doing matchmaking, they don't really take age into account as much as they do other factors, especially experience in your, your record. Nice quick left hand there from Alan Hassan. This is a much different round here. I think that Sira is slowing down a little bit. He's, his output is not quite so much. And uh, Hassan seems to be picking it up. So if Hassan has weathered the storm, maybe it was his plan all along to just kind of, okay, this guy wants to punch so much. Well, let's see how much he can punch because he's certainly not trying to knock me out. And so maybe let's, you know, let him give me everything he's got and then we'll test him. Du musst jetzt, du musst jetzt stark auf den Bein sein. Nicht rückwärts fallen lassen. Vorwärts, habe ich dir doch gesagt vor dem Kampf. Vorwärts, sei wie ein, sei wie ein Stier. Drück dich richtig vorwärts, okay? Drück ihn weg, rechte Lokik hinterher. Drück ihn weg, linke Lokik hinterher, okay? Mach jetzt nicht schieben, okay? Und dann eine rechte Gerade hinterher, ein rechtes Knie Very hinterher. Very calm, relaxed atmosphere there in Nein, the corner of Alan Lokik. Hassan. I can also see in the corner of Karol Sira, Marinko Niemarevich, giving some advice to his man. And the fighters will come to center ring for one more round of action here. I think we're going to finally find out here how much gas is in the tank for Karol Sira. Got popped with a couple of good shots there from Hassan. Inside low kick scores, though. But those shots from Hassan are starting to land, and Hassan backs out of town. 
as he knew that he was getting lit up there, especially with the leg kicks. That those leg kicks are taking some serious, serious effects right now. Oh, he's just crippling the leg right now. The leg of Hassan bending and bobbing and weaving, and it looks like it's gonna give out. The lead left leg of Alan Hassan is all black and blue. It's purple now, he's checking those kicks, but he's still getting tagged right in that same spot. And you can see him scooting out of harm's way, trying to stay away from those low kicks. I think that Sira really needs to turn up the pressure here now. He needs to get busy, he needs to stay on Alan Hassan, keep with the leg kicks, keep him distracted with other weapons upstairs. Sira needs to be as busy as he was in that first round if he wants to come out of here successful. Already half the time gone by in round number three. Can he put the finishing touches on Alan Hassan? Hassan now staying away, keeping his distance. He, he needs to use those long range weapons, use those push kicks, his jabs. That's what he needs to do. As soon as Sira comes in the range, he needs to back him up, keep him away. He's doing a good job now. Sira has not been able to attack the leg in about the last minute or so. So the strategy of Sira not as effective, but now he chips away at the legs again. Still 50 seconds left to go. Nice one-two combination there from the young Alan Hassan. Looking for more now. Right hand connects. Almost knocked him off balance. Here comes Sierra. Boy, both these guys have a lot of supporters in the crowd here. You can hear the crowd going back and forth from different parts of the arena as they support their fighter. Ten second hammer goes down now. Sira still coming forward. Both guys slow, exhausted. They've been through a battle here, and you can see the battle wounds all over the bodies of both men as Alan Hassan limping back to his corner, can barely even stand on that left leg right now. Well, I'll tell you what, folks, it was a very back and forth fight. I think that Sira did very well in that first round. I, his output was just amazing. He slowed down in the second round, and I think that Hassan started to come back a little bit. He started to step on the gas a little bit more in round number two. And then in round three, Sira really did a number. You can see the, the cumulative damage starting to show on the, on the leg of Hassan. But at times he was, uh, he was using his distance very well in round three. So let's find out what the official word is. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by unanimous decision from the red corner, Carol Culkin, Sierra. Sierra gets the job done here. The 35-year-old wins his first professional bout of his career. That has got to be very satisfying for Carol Sierra. Thank you.